Well guys, I uh, accidentally bought a time capsule. My name's Austin. This is the Mopar Garage and we build cool stuff in here. Well guys, I accidentally bought one of the nicest second gen Cummins that I've seen in probably 10 years. Uh, I've been looking for a 2500 to tow my uh, various projects that I pick up. I'm always buying and selling junk, old Dodge stuff. So I uh, wanted a decent, reliable second gen Cummins, which are, or V10, which is extremely hard to find. I wanted it in a standard, which makes it even more hard to find. The prices on Cummins right now are just out of hand. They're just not worth it. Um, I said, I said, I'm only going to buy a manual. However, I saw one pop up this morning on Marketplace. And uh, when stuff is priced fair, you got to strike well, you got to strike quick, right? Because people price these things insane numbers. So when something's actually priced fair, you got to strike. Well, I bought accidentally an automatic and it is gotta be like I said probably the nicest second gen Cummins that I've seen in a very long time it's 100% original one owner fully loaded leather heated seats it's even got the little information center up top this is a 2024 valve original dashboard looks like that Original instrument bezel, looks like that. Original seats. I mean, this thing, the carpet, I just got in, I got at it with dirty feet, but. This thing is unbelievable. All stock, 100% stock, original exhaust, never been touched. A hundred and let's find out. I don't even remember. One hundred and sixty-six thousand nine hundred and forty-one miles. Power windows, power locks, power seat works, power mirrors work. It is a two thousand, so it's a VP forty-four truck. I mean, clean. It's owned by a older gentleman. He used to tow his horse trailers around, I guess. Uh, VP44 looks like it's probably been done in it. I do have some service records that came with it. Um, here's your VP down there. It looks fresh. I mean, it looks pretty new. Of course, everything does on this truck, though. It's a possibility it's been done. It does not have a uh, aftermarket lift pump, which is scary on these VP44s um, because these things, as soon as your fuel pressure drops below 15 pounds or so coming from the lift pump, it, uh, it fries that VP44. So got to be careful on that. Absolutely zero blow by, all original, original air box, original whole set turbo. I mean, this thing is close to a time capsule and it was priced fair i mean the guy selling it was a real good guy he's actually a new subscriber to the channel what's up sam i mean it's got the um infinity stereo in it with our little tweeters that's when you know it's really had the packages back in the day is when you had the old eight pillar speakers um I mean, this thing is just, I love that old stuff. Diesel starting instructions. I love second gens, man. Um, extremely clean. Steering is super straight, super tight. It's got the cup holders, which these usually don't have anymore. Just unreal. It's, uh, I mean, original exhaust, like I said. It's never had oversized tires on it. Original wheels still look really good on it. 
frame is super clean. Body mounts. Super clean. I mean, the underneath of this truck is just unreal. Um, looks like it might need a transmission mount. Seeing that from here, most of these do. But I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even leak oil. Unreal. Tap it cover, valve cover, none of that leaks. Hard to see with this camera, but there's the tap it cover down in here. It's still got just enough patina to be a driver. Barely enough patina to be a driver, but just enough. Um, exhaust, the only things that I've noticed with it at all, the exhaust needs a hanger. Um, the we need to put either an air dog or a fast aftermarket lift pump in it to save that VP44 high pressure pump. Um, I mean, look how clean the inlet lines are. I mean, just to give you guys a point of reference, the 99 <laughs> looks like that. So I love my 99, but uh, by the way, sweet wheels just showed up for the 99. Wait till you guys see those. Uh, vid coming soon. Um, so, aftermarket lift pump, uh, exhaust hanger, and the biggest possible issue is uh, the rear end um, seems a little bit tight. And I guess looking at some of the records, it recently had opinion service done. Maybe they put the wrong fluid in it. Hopefully it didn't hurt the clutches at all because uh, this is uh, positive track rear end. And if you don't run the right fluid, it can be hard on the clutches. So hopefully that's not the, uh, not the case there. I don't have the f exact full picture of the truck because the gentleman who had it, you know, I call it a one owner. There, there was the guy who bought it off Sam is technically a second owner, but he only had it a couple months. Um, it was, uh, it came from this this older gentleman who passed away and so there was a little bit there lost in translation but i've got some of the maintenance records with it um so we're gonna try a fluid change in that rear end i have a feeling we're probably gonna do clutches in it but in the grand scheme of things i mean to get a second gen dodge at a fair price um i usually don't disclose what i pay for stuff um but i, I felt like it was super fair um, this guy uh, paid $6,700. Um, it's a two-wheel drive, all stock, very clean truck. In my mind, that that's a very, very fair, fair deal. Um, that is probably going to do it for the walk around of the truck. I mean, the brakes feel good in it. The, the steering is tight. Everything works. Um, like I said, even the wheels look good. The brakes are actually really good. This thing stops probably better than my... Uh, my 2021 uh, three-quarter ton did. Um, we'll fire it up for you, actually. Absolutely zero blow-by. I am just thrilled with this thing. Yeah, it's a 47 RE automatic. That isn't the best, uh, but it shifts really good. It locks out really good. The torque converter seems really good in it. That transmission, let's face it, could explode at any moment, but uh, that's a risky run. You find a truck for the right price, especially one like this. I mean, this is 
in my opinion, nothing short of a time capsule. You get in here and it feels like you're in 2000 again. Um, it's unbelievable. I mean, the, just the original dashboard, I'm so happy with this. Um, you know, I, I love my 99, but this is, this is just unreal. It smells, it smells you know, new in here, it feels new, you know, you get in some old truck, well, like my 99, and everything's kind of sticky in it, it smells like an old truck, you know, it's, 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 this thing, I mean, the materials still feel like really high quality, and nothing's brittle, right, like you're worried about the dashboards being brittle in these things, nothing is brittle, um, it's, it's just phenomenal, um, I'm going to, I mean, the carpet still has some good feel to it. It's, un it's unreal. Um, I'm going to put a sunshade in the windshield of this thing wherever I park it to save this dashboard because to have an original dashboard is unreal. Maybe maybe it's been replaced, who knows, but it's not a, it's not a cover like what's on my 99. Uh, my 99 has, uh, and it looks pretty good, but if you're looking close, you can tell. Um, my 99 has this dash skin on it right it looks it looks pretty good um but you can tell i mean especially if you look over here you can tell you know where it meets the, uh, the airbag um but you know the old 99 that's that's a play truck right you know i take it in the mud take it off road kind of deal um this thing is going to be a hauling truck going to haul all the other dodge junk that i pick up is going to get hauled by this thing um, I'm just ecstatic. Uh, we'll do another video on it. I'll go through it, get underneath of it, shake it down, make sure everything uh, looks good. But so far, looks fantastic. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like Dodge stuff. Second gen Dodges. We really specialize in second gens. I don't hate third gens. I don't hate first gens, but I spend my money on second gens. Um, in my opinion, coolest truck in the world. We do other quirky 80s projects. Uh, we actually have started back working on our Shelby. It's a 1986 Shelby Daytona Turbo Z. So if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment below where you made an unexpected purchase. Uh, I didn't necessarily, well, I, I didn't set out to buy this truck today, but uh, once I saw it, I had no other choice. Uh, appreciate you, Sam. Um, Sam, the, uh, the guy who sold it to me, Really cool dude, rides dirt bikes. I grew up racing motocross. He uh, He's a Ford guy, we'll let that slide. Um, but, you know, always appreciate a pickup truck guy. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate you watching.